almost everything was dead when I got here. Um, every year there are fewer and fewer standing snags, everything keeps falling. Eventually, it might be some kind of aesthetic that somebody might look at and think that it looks restored, but it's not going to get anywhere close to that in our lifetimes. So what I'm researching is uh, plant community recovery trajectories after the fire, um, after the Bastrop fire in 2011, and um, what we're looking at specifically is how the immediate post-fire uh, regeneration of different species might affect the long-term trajectories. There are a lot of unanswered questions of how this is going to continue to look in the decades to come. Um, so hopefully if we know a little bit about where it's going immediately after, we can answer questions about what we need to do now. Do we need to cut things down? Do we need to do more prescribed burns? Do we need to do more mulching? Um, so a lot of my role here is to help clarify that. One of the big questions we're looking at that wasn't something that had really crossed my mind before I started this project was how much immediate post-fire or really post any disturbance regrowth is going to affect the long run. And so what I think is kind of cool that we're seeing is, like I was saying before, with the oaks first winning and now the pines are catching up and it's this constant changing, um, changing trajectory. I don't find it ugly. It's um, part of, I mean, I, I don't know if you could say it's part of a natural cycle given that it's, you know, a huge wildfire after years and years of fire suppression. Um, but I still think there's beauty in um, how things regrow even after this. And you can see a bleak landscape with just dead trees, or you can look around and see um, what's regrowing. And that's, that's what I think is really 